So I started this game up last night, guys, really excited to play some more Polybridge, and I proceeded to make an 80 minute video on this, and then I got up this morning and the video is corrupt and I have to start all over again. But there's a silver lining to everything in life, you gotta look on the bright side. And the bright side here is that my uh, recording last night was pretty shit. I'm gonna be honest, okay? It, it was, it sucked. All right, it sucked. I suck at building bridges. I had no idea what I was doing. It took me forever to figure out. That's why it ended up being 80 minutes. And I can do better. So I'm gonna do better today. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the campaign. I'm gonna pick up from where we left off in at the end of the first video, and we're gonna do those over. Uh, I don't know where that is right now, but I'm gonna find it. 2-11, we have a $13,000 budget. We got wood, hydraulic, and rope. We need to take two cars. The first car is gonna go over here to A1 and stop. The second car is gonna go to A2.1 and stop. Then we need to do a thing. Then the car is gonna go to A2.2 and then to A2, okay? It's not gonna be too hard considering I've already done it. I could load the saved bridge. I'm not gonna do that, okay? I'm not gonna load the saved bridge because that's, that's too easy. We're gonna build another bridge instead. All right, there's your standard old bridge. Everything looks pretty good on that one there. We're gonna go ahead and put a split joint down here because things need to split. Two, two, and two, everything looks good here. Then we're gonna take a hydraulic and we're gonna put it here. All right, that's gonna expand. The boom, done. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure there may be a little bit more tweaking needed, but just watch. Huh? Told ya. So now guys, the hydraulic is connected to a point that connects with a bunch of ropes to the rest of the bridge so when it lifts up, Everything is good. The car goes up way too high. It's gonna drive forwards and it's probably gonna be fine. There. This one is a $20,000 bridge, guys. What's gonna happen is this vehicle right here, A1, is gonna go across and stop. At the same time, this one here is gonna go across this boat. Then, A1 is gonna continue to the other side uh, as C1 goes across. And then E is gonna go across the entire thing. So. Not too bad, okay? All we gotta do is just lift up the bridge so it doesn't get in the way. And you can do that with uh, a normal bridge with a split in the middle. So, let's just go ahead and build two of them with splits in the middle. Wait a second, no. One with splits in the middle because this one here needs to go across first without anything happening. So in that case, we're gonna have to actually build a bridge like this here on both sides. And uh, that one is gonna come down. So one goes down to connect, the other one goes up and then back down again. Now there's a new thing in this game guys, it's called the hydraulic controller and it's used for choosing which hydraulics work where. Uh, I think it's only in levels where there's multiple hydraulic stages, such as this one. So in this level here, we got uh, the B hydraulic phase and the D hydraulic phase. So what's gonna happen is first, we got A2 it's gonna go across and the vehicle's gonna go across, then the hydraulic phase. And this hydraulic phase is meant um, to Bring this bridge up right here so that the boat doesn't hit it. And it's also going to let this uh, this vehicle, A1, which is now in the middle, go to the end. Which means that both of these hydraulics need to work in the second phase. And I'll show you what I got done with them. Uh, these ones are going to contract and pull up. These ones are going to expand and go down. I don't know if it's going to work first time around. This is, um, you know, it's not been tested yet. So we're going to do a little trial run here and see. Alright, so so this uh, boat is going across and the vehicle is going across. Everything's good. And now one's going to go down, one's going to go up. So far, so good. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work right here. Hmm, not bad, not bad. I think this could definitely be a thing. There you go. Ooh, oh. See, that's that's just this game, man. All you gotta do here, guys, is just make this a little bit longer. That way, the hydraulic part right here is gonna be a little bit longer, and it's gonna extend a little bit further, because there's a slight, like, a very slight, um, you know, point to the bridge, and that caused the vehicle to uh, break the bridge. So, um, we're gonna try this. Hopefully this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up. Go, 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 go! Okay, it's going down. It is going down. Okay, so it's still, it's probably gonna need a little bit more. No, it's good, okay. It's all about, uh, you know, things going over the bridge gently. So now, we should be, oh crap, hang on a second. This is what the hydraulic phase thing is for, I screwed it up. Because the second phase, you don't want to bring this bridge back, back up again, okay? Because uh, the E vehicle afterwards is going to try and drive across the whole thing. So if we just go ahead and play that again and speed it up, it shouldn't be a problem. Look at that. That one's going to go across. Good. Go back down. And now E. Don't break. What the hell? Why are you breaking? What's the point of that? What's the point of you breaking when you didn't break when the other one went across? I swear, man. I swear this game, this game screws up intentionally just to piss me off. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move that a little tiny bit and assume that's all we need to do, okay? Because it's gonna be slightly different now. Huh? 
That doesn't really look... Oh, Jesus. Come on. There you go. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that. And here goes E. What the hell? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I got to point something out, guys, because this is funny. Uh, I'm going to be super like self-conscious now whenever I say anything. I mentioned Matche Bingo in a uh, in a Geometry Dash video because I say a lot of things like all the time, like what the hell and are you serious and come on. So um, a few people actually tweeted to me on Twitter and made me a little bingo card with a bunch of my um, you know commonly used words on it. I thought that was super funny. So shout out to you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and fix this. Okay, just a little bit of difference and hopefully that's all we need. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, that worked. But the other one needs to move down a little bit because it's gonna break. I just know it. Ah! I don't really understand why one of them would break and the other one wouldn't, guys. That just seems kind of weird to me. You'd think they would both do the same thing, you know? It's a, it's a physics simulation, and the same exact physics simulation is different. But then again, this one might be going a little bit faster. Either way, it's done. We're good. I'm number 30 in the entire world, guys. How about that? You think we could actually bring that down a little bit? Let's bring it down a little bit. Just just because we can. Um that could go down. And then and then these ones right here could go down. You know? You know what you know what I mean? This is probably a waste of time. Did I even did I even change anything? 17,065. Slightly less than before. As someone did this in like oh god, never mind. Let's just continue. Forget it. Goodbye. Okay, this one's kind of an interesting one, guys. We have 15,000 bucks. We gotta get a vehicle across. Then we need to use hydraulics and the vehicle has to come back again. So it's just this little car. It's not a super heavy vehicle. All we gotta do is just gotta bring this over like that. Okay, it's always the first step pretty much. Build your bridge, the uh, the road for it. Then we're gonna build some of this. Okay, I'm gonna show you something cool here guys, okay? This is something that's um, also been added to the game pretty recently. It's called the tracing tool. All you gotta do is click on something and then click on something else like that. And then you grab these things and you move it however you want the bridge to look. It's mostly used for suspension bridges because you know how suspension bridges get a little bit weird when you're trying to fill them in. Now you can just take this tool, put it wherever you want, hit the uh, suspension button if you got one, hit fill. It's not going to happen right now. Okay, so let's say this was a suspension bridge just for argument's sake. Hit fill and look at that. And you can change the maximum length as well. So if you want really small ones, you can make them a meter each. And they do that. And this is, this is great. Okay, I love that. I think that's the coolest thing ever. And uh, I, I am going to use it here uh, in order to fill this in. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect them to each other like that. Hit fill. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and take our wood. I think you can just hit clear tracer. I don't know what the other things are. Chain shape, flip curve. I mean, it's basically the same stuff you can do once you move these little balls. I guess you can just do it after the fact if you want. I'm gonna clear the tracer, and then I'm gonna fill them in, okay? But yeah, I, I think that's really cool, guys. It's just it's just a nice little tool to help you build bridges better. So now, I'm gonna take off the grid, I'm gonna move uh, a steel beam over here, and then down here like that, and then I'm gonna grab a hydraulic and put it here. Oh shit, it doesn't, doesn't reach, does it? No, okay. So in that case, we gotta move, this, move the steel over here like that until it can reach. I think Wait, I should probably uh, I should probably put it here like this and then connect some wood to it I was gonna connect rope like I did in the other one but there is no rope so I think this might work it's probably not gonna go up high enough and there that's the best I can do let me give that a try oh we gotta put a split joint down here because without split joints things get really weird also you don't look at the sides when it comes to a split joint, you look at the colors. That's another thing that I learned when I was making this video the first time, before everything went to shit. Uh, yeah, you look at the red. Red means stop, green means go. The two, two, and two are gonna go. The bridge is gonna move, everything's gonna be great, and we're gonna win, okay? So, go, car, go! So we got up to the other side. Now the bridge is moving up. Is it gonna do it? Mmm, okay. So, almost. I'm thinking that we'll, we'll probably have to connect it a little bit differently. I'm thinking we can probably connect it at the end down here. So grab, and that's not the one. Grab, and here. So I could move this up to reach it, I guess. That would be an option. Let me, let me uh, connect them, and then I'll move them up as much as possible and move this down. Okay, so that's as far down as it can go. I think this might be a good choice here. Solid strat, perhaps. Go. 
Okay, so there's a break in the middle. I guess I'm gonna have to, you know, move the rest of these up as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the bridge I used before, guys. I don't know how this one is even any different than the one I just had here, but apparently this one works and the other one doesn't, so... Yeah, let's do this, alright? I said I wasn't gonna, like, load the bridges, but since I'm, uh, you know, just gonna be tweaking it and moving it around and stuff, I can just do it like this. This one actually has a lot of stress, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's got a lot of stress on the uh, on the red ones because of the fact that it moves up and pulls it in such in such a weird direction. But it works, okay? That's all that matters. The one consolation, guys, for the fact that I got to do this video over again is the fact that this game is just so relaxing, man. So relaxing. The music in this game just makes you want to fall asleep, which is wonderful. Besides for the fact that it's morning and I'm already super tired, but it's wonderful. Okay, I just I love playing this game. It, it, it just gives me good feelings when I play it. And this all right here. This one is a little bit weird. This one I spent forever on. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I am. Uh, I'm gonna do it over. Okay, I'm not gonna load my other one at all. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do this with um. With, with 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 my head okay i'm gonna do it with my head just like before all you gotta do i'm saying all you gotta do is if you don't have to do much the uh the ice cream truck has to go across until it um until it hits a 2.1 and the car has to go across until it hits a 1.1 okay that's straightforward then we need to move the bridges so this one on the right is now down and the one on the left is now up and it has to be up not just to uh, let the C1 go across, but up so that the, the, the vehicle at A1.1 can go down the other side and win. So in this one, the best way I found to do this is to put a steel beam here and then a cable connecting it back here. And then you can just go ahead and lift the thing up with that. So if I bring this down here, it can grab. It should come up most of the way, I guess. How much higher can it go? About that much higher. Okay. Well, I don't want it to go higher because higher is not good. Lower is good. There, okay. So, I think that's all you really need to do on this one. Um, let me go ahead and break that. Okay, so now you can see one and two. So, two and two is what you want there. Now, I am just gonna leave it as it is. And I let, I'm gonna let the vehicles go across. These should both make it. Okay, but I need to see if the one on the left is actually gonna lift up or not. That's, that's actually really nice, man. That is that is a really nice bridge. It's super simple, and it works. It actually lifts too high. Damn. Okay, so this uh, I'm guessing this car is just going to go ahead and break the bridge. But if we... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going back down again. Of course. That's because I didn't set things right yet. Well, how about we make this one 45 instead? And then we'll go over here, and we'll turn it off on the second run. And then all we got to do is just uh, fiddle with the other side. So... When I say fiddle with the other side, I mean spend forever trying to get this bridge to lower and not break. Okay, now I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might be able to do this pretty easily. After way too many trials and errors, guys, I finally got it. Watch this happen. It's going to be great. Boats are going to go across fine and dandy. This is going to go down, and you're going to see there's a lot of stress on the top right, but... It does not break the bridge, okay? It goes across the bridge, everything is fine, and I clap. Please clap. Here's what my other bridge looked like, guys. I don't know how this one was better, but apparently it was. Okay, it's all that matters. I remember that there was definitely a piece of steel in the middle. It goes down. Let me see how much stress is on here. None at all, man. This works really well, because it, it grabs it from the middle. The middle of the bridge... You got, uh, you got the whole bridge being secured by the fact that the middle is connected to a piece of steel, which is, you know, connected with a bunch of ropes and things like that. And it was fine, okay? Whatever. Fine. Who cares? I would now like to introduce to you guys the monstrosity known as Level 3.3. We have this little car right here, and it has to do a thing. I'm not really sure what that thing is. I think it might be a loop, but there's no way, man. There's nothing to connect it to. So how in the hell am I going to do a loop here? But it has to go to uh, to, to a.1 hashtag or pound or whatever, and then to a.2. If you look at here, it's just a start. Just just do it. It's like, just go ahead, just start it, and go. I'm trying to take it one step at a time here, guys, because I honestly have no idea how this vehicle is supposed to do anything once it touches the star. I mean, it's going to touch the star, but then the whole thing is going to break. So am I supposed to have like another one underneath it maybe? Because that would work. Because that would actually work, guys. What we have to do... Mm, would it though? Because the whole thing falls apart, doesn't it? <sighs> Shit. Let's go ahead and build this with steel first, guys. Because I think everything here should be made of steel. 
I feel like that would work a lot better. And I could actually, um, I could, I'm getting some ideas here, guys. I don't know if they'll work, but I'm getting ideas. Basically, guys, I'm thinking that maybe once the car goes up here and jumps back to the other side again, it could possibly, if it doesn't fall off the back, of course, it could possibly go back up another road behind the vehicle and get to the top. That would be a stretch, but it could work. Eh, it's not even a stretch, really. Let me find out what's uh, what's really causing problems here. Okay, this br this road down here collapsing. So could I possibly move these down and then and then put a little bit of support in here like that? Would that work? Seems like it. So you go up, and now when you fall back down, if you don't fall off the back, you can keep going forwards. Okay, it's, it's not gonna keep going forwards, guys. It did not get back up. That's fine. Move it a little bit and see if that changes it. Okay, we're gonna get this. Up we go. Flips over, keeps going. <laughs> now it's just gonna do that forever. Hmm. So uh, if we if we possibly did something here, so it wasn't very sturdy, it might be able to break and then come back around after and do it. Well, Jesus, what are you doing? Don't get rid of that. You can't get rid of everything. There, like that. So now it's not gonna be very sturdy. If it could possibly break it there and then come back around and just do a jump. Oh! Oh my God! It actually made it. Sick! I actually am one of the uh, one of the top people for this one. Jaso Jaso managed to do it twenty one thousand, but uh, still not bad. Okay, still not bad. Um, so it seems like most people use a lot more material for it, and they use I guess less budget in a way. I mean, my joint stress is way up here, but a lot of people's joint stress is way up here. A lot of people broke this bridge in order to do it. So how would you do it without breaking the bridge? Hmm. I guess it would depend on how fast the vehicle is going. My budget was really low, guys. Like, seriously, I got a lot more I could use. No, don't go do that. Don't get back. Stop. I do want to try and do this bridge without it breaking at any point, guys. So let's try something else. We do have a lot of budget. We got tons of budget if we want to try something crazy here. So why don't we do this? Okay, we're going to bring it over to the other side. When the vehicle goes up, it's going to touch here. But then we're going to have some road that pushes it back up this way. Okay? That's the only thing I can think that could possibly work for this. So we're going to try it. So the car goes up now, and does a thing here, and then breaks the bridge, sort of. I mean, it's still, still working, still working, it's all good. I got some cables here, I could attach some cables to some things. You know what I'm saying? Cables there, attach some cables over here. Eh? Yeah? That doesn't look like it's gonna do very well, but maybe. No, no, definitely not. We're gonna do this, guys, because I really want to do it with uh, without breaking anything. It's gonna be hard to do, man. It's gonna be really hard to do. Can I do that? It's gonna go over budget, huh? Okay, well that's fine. I can grab something and pull it out. There's lots of things around here that don't need to be here. Do you need to be here? Do you need to be here? Nah, you're fine without, I'm fine without you. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> this breaks the entire bridge. Don't break the entire bridge, man. Don't do it, okay? Please. I like that, like, I like that it goes all the way up there and does that just to come back around and then break. Okay, that's wonderful. Did you see that? Did you see that? This is a great bridge, but it's not exactly reusable, okay? You don't want to have to build a new bridge every time a vehicle goes across it. So let me uh, try this again. <laughs> it's so close, guys. I actually did it. You can make a loop because this car goes so fast that it's so light. It can just pop over certain things and spin around and then go through them again. And that's just perfect the way that works, but... There's a break. There's a big break, and everything breaks, and that's not good. So, let's put on our stress, okay, and then we'll slow it down a little bit, just so we can see what breaks. Got a lot of strain on that part right here, so this thing here. So what if we just, uh, you know, put some more stuff on there, put a little bit more support. Make it hurt less. Oh, hang on, we're still in 20% speed. Go, car, go! Ah, oh, what was that? What did you do, stupid asshole? Don't do that. It's so perfect. It's so perfect besides for the fact that it completely destroys itself. Come on, man! Smarten up, Bridge! Do better! I don't- I don't really know. Like, I'm just gonna move some things around, okay? I feel like I could possibly- possibly support this bridge a little bit better, okay? There. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what's- what's this thing doing down here? Get- get the hell out of here, man. There. Here we go. This is the one. Oh! Oh! It did it, but it didn't! <laughs> if we bring this up a little bit here... And try and change the angle a little bit. Perhaps it'll break everything. It breaks everything. Don't do that, man. 
Okay, what broke? What broke? Tell me what broke. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. We'll stop. Um, I don't know if we can. Let me let me let me make this a little bit higher. Apparently, uh, the reason that loops are uh, you know not circular is because the g-force is so high. Because when you got it when you got it uh, you know in a bit of an oval, when you get to the top, there's not a whole lot of speed, not a whole lot of velocity. Doesn't make you go all g-forcey. So maybe we should do the same with ours. Huh? Make it go up a little bit more. So oh God. Full budget on this one, guys. Full budget. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I did it! Yes! Okay, let's watch it again. Okay, let's watch it again in not-so-ugly mode, where everything is red. Mmm. And it did it. Look at that. What a stupid bridge, man. What a stupid bridge, but also a really cool bridge at the same time. I am proud of me. Okay, so that wasn't so bad, guys. I managed to get further than I did in the last recording, and I feel like I did a little bit of a better job. I mean, I still suck at this game, but I did a little tiny bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.